Welcome to KS Walking in the Garden. I'm Teresa and today is June 7th, I believe. If it's not, I will correct that. And it is currently 12.45. I come out because I think I'm going to harvest my uh, tomatoes and my onions and I thought I'd bring y'all along. Okay, I'll give you a little show. You can see that tomato's ready, and if you kind of look in there, you can see some that are ready there. And we got some over there. And then it looks like maybe these two peppers. I think I may harvest those. I don't have any other ones. This one's starting to get a little bit better too. And then uh, tomatoes, tomatoes. Got a few little tomatoes over here that are ripening. Little tomatoes over here that are ripening. Some on this one. And then these onions, the wind blew them all over. So I'm thinking, I guess I best be harvesting them. So I will be doing that. All right. guy if you see he's split so I don't know if we can eat him well I accidentally cut this guy off Oh, so sad. Oh, well. Okay, so this is today's tomato harvest. My one Paul Robeson, who was split. Um, and then I think the rest of these are Ace 55s, and then my green one. And then let's come over here and grab some of these cherries. And get this cherry, this cherry, that cherry. Oh, look, we have a, take on another split Paul Robeson. Oh, oh, let me get scissors for that. Add these cherries to the mix. Another split one. See, here, here, here. I don't know if it's supposed to get darker than this. Looks good everywhere else. Yeah. Actually, the split, can you still eat them? So these are the onions I harvested. Too soon, maybe, and that's that weird one on the end that I don't know. It went to seed and obviously it didn't bulb up. So I don't even know if you can eat it. But that's all the, the onions that I harvested. Maybe some of them a little too soon, but they had all fallen over. And this is what's left in here. Some that are really tiny, there's still a few that are kind of big. I don't know, can you see that? It's hard for me to see in the sun. Some that are kind of big. But I'm gonna leave those in for a little bit longer. I don't know. Like I say, first time doing all this stuff. First time harvesting onions. So if you know, let me know. Now that Texas sun. All right, now I just gotta find some place to cure these onions. Um, I mean, I gotta look up exactly how I think it's a cool, dark place. It's Texas, I don't got no place that's cool. I mean, I could cure them up in my bedroom closet, but then all my uh, clothes will smell like onions. So I don't know. I don't know, should I harvest these uh, peppers? Or do you think I should wait a little bit longer? 
Oops. I mean, look at these. Yeah, I'm trying to find it with the sun. I'm trying to shade my phone so I can see it. But like, look at that. It's orange. It's orange. This one over here is starting to get, oh, I give up. It's starting to get a little bit better too, but. Is it gonna get any different color than that? I don't know. You gonna see what I'm looking at? I don't know. These two guys. The other one's still yellow. Oh, let me show you the, hor the horror. The horror of my poor, my poor okra plant. I don't know if you can see it because I can't see all the aphids. I sprayed it with neem oil. I'm just hoping that I killed them. So sad. All right, anyway. Anyway, that's all I got for you on this sunny, sunny day. Woo wee doggy. All right, uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.